Hello and welcome back to Dishonored 2. If you've just come to the channel for the first time, I would like to welcome you. And uh, I actually had an issue with my previous video, but um, that's okay. Nothing much happened. I returned to the dreadful whale and uh, retrieved um, some parts for upgrades and we defeated Ashworth at the conservatory. And now we're on another mission, so we have a choice of going to the Overseer Outpost or the Crone's Hand Saloon, which I've just... I think I've just gone to the Crone's Hand now. Um, so it's... Uh, yeah, it's been interesting. Anyway, I, I, you haven't missed much. So I, I lost the video pretty much in the last one, so... And now we're here. Um... Right, so what are we up to? Let's, um, so I did just retrieve a, uh... Charm. What do they call it? Kept the Grand Guard out of our homes. But I don't see how you can help the miners. It's all connected, Tivoli. Once the Abbey's off our backs, I'll make it too expensive for the Duke to run the mines. If the workers stop digging, the Duke will see that mines producing at half speed are more profitable than mines producing nothing. For better working conditions and less dust in the streets, we'd be happy to up our payments. There's a way to satisfy everybody. First, in this district, then across the city. The people who work the mines have more power than they know. Thank you, Paolo. Okay. So, don't drink all the rum while I'm gone. How are we going to approach this? So we've we reached Palo. Yeah, that was Palo down there. And uh Okay, he's going downstairs. Bone charm in there. Right. What are we going to do? What are we going to do to get past this? Well, let's think about it. There's Palo there. He's... What is he doing? Is he coming back up? Or is he... Right. Get that other guy inside here before anyone spots what we're up to. Okay. There's another guy here. Okay. Some arrows here. Take those. And, uh,. Some stuff in here as well. Drop. What the? I don't know what that's about. <laughs> There's like a monkey mask in there. That's weird. All right. Um. Okay. There's a bone charm over there, and um. I don't know if we just keep going. Oh, we were just in here before. Alright, let's head back downstairs again. Another storm? Really? Okay. There's a bone charm nearby. It's over there. Alright. Let's, let's see if we can try get our way... 
through there. We go through this door here. So it's in here, is it? Bernard. Durand got himself nicked by the Abbey boys, which means that they've got his office key, and it means he might have told them how to open the Jindosh lock. I need you to find a way to open Durand's door, and no, burning the building to the ground is not an option. I also want you to start dropping off food for old Stilton until we find someone to replace Duritan. Once you manage to get this office open, you'll find all the details inside. Be very careful when you go into Stilton's Manor. If the overseers do have the code to Jindosh's lock, they might want to have a peek inside too, Paolo. Duritan's key. Uh, how do I get in there? Okay, did it give me... I've seen I've captured someone named Duritan who knows the combination. Right, so it... Okay, so they've got the key. Right, okay. That makes it difficult. There's Palo down there. What's down here? Anything? I wonder if I can just put Palo to sleep. That means... I wonder who that was. Oh boy. Oh boy, they spotted me, I guess. Well. What's going on here? One down. What you got. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. You've been living time to die, old man. You first. Now. Is at our steps. There's Palo there. Get out of here. Sucker. Alright, where is that Palo? He's upstairs. Okay. It's locked. Oh, damn, that was a civilian. Is this the void? Are you the cursed outsider? There it is. All right, we need to get that. Nice, we got it. What did we, what did we just nab? Let's have a look. Assassin's Fortune bolt packs have a slight chance of containing another crossbow bolt. That's cool. All right, I'll deal with that later. Um, what's this here? Marnie's secret powders for bringing on frightful vision, illusions, blurred visions, and the like. Dry 20 purple sea slugs in the sun until they are be crisped and light as feathers. Put them in mortar with these one dried burdock root 
four dried neem leaves, half measured whalebone finely shaved. Grind until powdery, keep very dry until ready to use, careful not to get any in your eyes. Adeline's night drops for inducing night terrors and starving your enemies of sleep. Soak a ripe lemon in a mug over goat's milk for five days until the milk turns green foam. Should be thick and pungent, discard the lemon. Mix the foam with a bit of honey for taste and bottle it up tight with a stopper. Five drops in the fellow's drink should do the trick. Oh my god. That sounds awful. Yeah. Oh, maybe I shouldn't play with their, um... <laughs> all of their stuff down here. Seems to be causing explosions. Anything else in here? From a book of sailing traditions and... Shrimshaw? Bone charms. A sailor's blessing, they say. The carving itself is a practice from long back. Passed from salty dogs to young greenhorns still finding their sea legs. In old times, sailors cut into the tusks of ice seals and into the warm long fangs of the bears that roam in the islets of north of Tivia. Once the whaling trade began, the practitioners began engraving the bones of those great beasts, rendering charms that sing in the night and grant some small boon, increasing a lover's vigor or providing a defense against pregnancy. Well, there you go. Isn't that cool? Who is this guy? Should I be dealing with this? Where's Palo? Palo's over there. I, uh, I. Oh. Okay, I want to leave you there. I don't know who you are, bud. But um, you're not my business. I don't got to go deal with Palo now. Right. Come. Yeah. Oh, that was Granny Rags' hand? Jeez, she would have been pissed because I'm pretty sure I killed her last time. What do I do with this? What am I doing with this guy? Deliver one leader to the other. Or investigate that he's been captured by the overseers. Wait, so what have I done? I've just... Okay, well, I've killed Palo. That's too late now. I might as well just take this guy, right? Right, to the overseer's outpost. Let's go that way. Excuse me. Running. <laughs> oh, boy. Do I go down here? Oh, boy. Excuse me. Good riddance. The vice overseer has ordered that we are to tolerate you. Beyond that, that's the last I time I no give promise. my coin to the Abbey. Right, there's a bone charm down here. I'm gonna grab that before I go anywhere else. Be careful. Hey, okay. okay. Wandered outside without body. No. What the? Oh, oh boy. I'm gonna have to kill all these guys. Let's do this. Get out of here. with the head. I want to keep these. All right. What? All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. This is too much heat. Right, let's go. No. Who's there? Hello? Begging won't change anything. 
You stand accused of actions forbidden by the teachings of the Abbey of the Everyman. Given that each crime was witnessed or later verified by sworn and faithful overseers. Okay, they're gonna get executed. I don't wanna watch no that. Trial is required. Jeez, what's going on here? Overseer's outpost. Here we go. Uh, Whatever's afoot here with the howlers, it must pale compared to the events in Dunwall. I cover my face because we're all one brother. Someone there. <laughs> Okay, this should be, um, there we go. Oops, there's this confiscation. If Paolo is really finished, we have our adherence to the strictures to thank. Nothing more. Okay. Well, I need the key. Who has this key? Does anyone have a key? I need to get in there. I might just walk around for a bit looking for this key. Heathen or no, you have done us a good deed. And for that, we are all grateful. The roving feet, they love to trespass. Souls blackened with all manner of filth. Right, let me just... Nice, there we go. Thank you. That's all I wanted was your key, sir. Huh. Alright, now I can go into this... Go away. I can get in here. There we go. Easy. Easy money. That's how you do it. To keep carrying around the guy that they wanted the leader and um it opens doors for you it really does it opens doors all right we'll go and see this uh uh this overseer guy where is he it's through here let's go through here then vice overseer there he is huh? yep excuse me sir to get that you don't stand a chance anyway all right that's uh, further up is it okay is this your barracks? Oh, excuse me, out of the way. There is a fine line, my friend, between a passing glance Hello? and the wandering. Anybody? Ah, here we go. Further up. Alright, we'll go up the stairs and we'll see this vice overseer. Oh wow, he's got a lovely, lovely area, hasn't he? I didn't see the one coming through the window. She was quick. The howlers are cowards, brother. But we accounted for six of them. I'm glad it's you in the end. Um, if I have to go. What is this book of the fallen? It warms my spirit to spend my last minutes with a true friend. You honor me. I wish there was another way, but it's a gut wound as bad as any I've seen. Better this than a day or two of agony. Nice. Which on the throne should make a beautiful. All right, let's um. Let's get in here. Paolo. This is unexpected, but welcome. Here we go. Do you have any idea the good you've done? With Paolo out of the way, I've got big plans for Kanaka. I've heard about you and your ambitions, Vice Overseer Byrne, but for me, this was a means to an end. Does the Abbey remember its friends? Yes. We do. And our enemies. What is it you want? I need to get into Aramis Stilton's home. Now that's a curious thing to want. There's something very wrong with Stilton's house. It's actually a great concern to me. I need to know what happened there. Help me and you'll benefit again. Thanks to the Duke, we've lost our proper place here in Karnaka. And we've been fighting just to hold the streets against the heretic Paolo. But you stopped his black heart for me. And for that, I'll give you what you want. I'm listening. Interrogating one of the Howlers, we learned that some of them knew how to open up the Jindosh lock and enter Aramis Stilton's home. Probably just Paolo and a trusted few. What you're looking for is probably connected to why the Duke had Karen Jindosh seal up Stilton's home. All right, then. This might be the most worthwhile visit I've ever paid to the Abbey. I'll remember your help, Vice Overseer Byrne. 
As will I, assassin. Take our friend here away. All right, we remember our, our friends. Yeah, we remember our friends and we remember our enemies. The Howlid detainee downstairs gave us key details pertaining his criminal associates and their heretical leader, Palo. Debauchery at all hours and acts of certain witchcraft, the likes of which even our sacred music cannot dispel. Palo is every bit as vile and corrupt as we suspected. With his dying breath, the detainee revealed that the Duke himself has Palo sending food into the bared and shuttered home of Aramis Stilton. The place is kept secure by the so-called Jindosh Lock. No doubt the Duke obtained the lock combination from Jindosh, and Palo passed it to the detainee. The weave of corruption is endless. Well... Stilton's house is cursed. Look after yourself. It's cursed. Well, that's always good news, isn't it? I love a good cursed room. Did he say no curse? comes from putting aside the strictures. Only madness and death. Blow your candles out, suckers. Alright, let's see. Where are we going to go now? So there, oh, there's a bone charm over here. Okay. I'll take any contraband you may have, sir. Alright. One down there, one over there. Right, how do we get out of here? All right, let's go. What is up there? Jindosh lock. Okay, we'll grab that. Oh, some coins. Oh wow, this comes up to here so I could jump down and assassinate him. Easy money. What's going on Someone here? There. I'm a friend. Let me leave. Okay, let's go down to that, um... Where is it? It's down here. The marketplace? Was it down this way? Okay. I bet this one's carrying coin! Oh. Sorry, but I just don't have time for you. It's over there. Those are... It's blocked? Okay. Agile recovery. What is that? Amodium Monte. Artist draws advertisement and portraits for the newspapers. Lives near the dockyard. Spotted him when he lost his shirt in a game of dice. Okay. Heard that one of the whaling ships from Santiago Fisheries brought a big one. Okay, let's go. This is a... It's like a dress place. Nothing else in here? Okay. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. There's nothing else here that we need. There's a bone charm there. Oh, what's in that one? What is this place? If the Duke wasn't running the mines night and day, our children wouldn't be choking themselves to sleep at night on the dust. It's easy to blame the Duke, but we both depend on the profits from industry. The mine. Why should I trust someone who hides their face? I'm not here I to hurt you. you. People don't hide their faces unless they're up to something. Who does things like that? It's 
this silver drill? Ooh, some big money there. Thank you. Alright, I'm leaving your home. Okay, I'm not leaving your home. I'm in your bathroom now. Okay, let's go. We're leaving. We're leaving. Okay, I'm leaving. charms in there. Let's check out your gear. Digging through the office of architectural planning, someone has found a map of Arima Stilton's home. Yeah, I might as well buy that. Arrows. We get more upgrades, maybe. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Mm. Pistol. Pistol. Crossbows. I'm gonna ask who you work for. I Impact serve all sides. Grenades. Okay. Nothing really here I want. What's in sleep dart? That's pretty good. We could do business. Incinerary. Might as well buy all this stuff. I've got so much cash now. Alright, that's pretty much that fully upgraded. The pistol haven't really dealt with. Right, so how do I... How do I get through there? I need to get... Oh, I can go this way. Here we go. Ah. Gosh. It's a... It's a lock code. Bago. I have no idea what this lock code is. Maybe there's a, um piece of paper upstairs I can get to. That's blocked as well. Oh, there's some stuff in there. Ooh, maybe I can go up to the next level from outside. Let's go up here. Nope, some bars on there. Ah, here we go. see a way to get through here. Oops. Okay. What happened here? Nothing happened here. What is happening? What the Oh my gosh. What? Not feeling well. Yeah, he's getting eaten alive, bro. He's dying. Oh. Dude. Are you okay? Oh, you are dead. You're so dead. Right, let's go here. Oh, hello. At first I thought you were one of Paolo's gang. But you don't look so bad up close. Can't even see my face, bro. I'm just gonna take your money. Stay in the part of the shop open to the public. Huh? Mm. Wh what? I don't want to die. Pistol. Where are your guns back here? Nice. Nothing else back here. All right, let's go. We're gonna go and 
I think we, we might go to Jindosh's lock. I can't figure out a way to get to that bone charm there. I don't know the passcode. Alright, let's go this way. We'll find a way in here. Right, we're here. We're here. Jindosh riddle. Okay, what do we do? Open Jindosh. Use the solution to Jindosh lock to open it and enter Aramis Stilton's home. Countess Con Ring, Snuff Tin, Bird Pendant. Right, so we need a ring. I think that's the... Uh, oh, hang on. What was it? The um, mission clues. Countess Conte is a ring. Countess Con... What was it? Conte? Con Countess... Dr. Marcolo... Okay, so Dr. Marcolo is the snuff tin. Okay, that's the snuff tin. Um, and then we have a bird pendant for Lady Winslow. Okay, Lady Winslow is a bird pendant, which I think it was already on. And then Marcolo... Okay, so the snuff pendant again. This one thing, the uh, Natsiao is war metal and then finch we need finch what is finch gonna be finch 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 is a diamond at the dinner party where lady winslow doctor in the morning right what do i do now I've done this right. Countess Conte is a ring. Dr. Mark Cola is snuff tin. That's that. Lady Winslow is a bird pendant. Right. Yeah. And then we have Madame Nazio as the ward medal, and then Baroness Finch, Countess Conte, is the uh, Countess Conte is the ring. Oh, okay, there you go. That's it. The information was good. Hi, Chaos. We did really well. Did we miss anything? Bone charms missed two. Runes we got. That was pretty cool. Paintings we missed one. Blueprints we missed one. That's alright. Got the majority. That's all that matters. Strange witch roll was performed three years ago at Aramis Stilton's Manor, involving Delilah, Copper Spoon, and her followers. Once inside, find out what you can about Delilah's secrets. Well, there you go. So Time Delilah. Time is an odd thing. I left Karnaka decades ago, excited about all that Dunwall might hold. I remember falling in love with Jessamine, watching her crowned as Empress. Emily's birth, the Rat Plague, then Jessamine's death and another coronation. Now all this, back in the city where I was born, how many more lives do I have to take before it all ends? Stilton's home hides a mystery, but I'll tear it apart brick by brick to learn the secret of Delilah's immortality, as long as this ends watching her cough blood. Delilah might have pulled herself up from nothing, but I ran out of sympathy for tyrants and witches a long time ago. All I want is to put an end to Delilah and make sure Emily is safe. One more time. All right. Definitely odd. Something just shifted. Okay, we've made it through the door into 
Aramis Stilton's Manor. Okay, we'll end the episode here, everyone, and I hope you all enjoyed. And we'll continue on in the next Dishonored 2. Bye for now. <laughs>